All right, main event time. But before we go into that, I just want to I just want to continue what I was saying with the effect of Sister Abigail and the demon. Again, this is something we have never seen before. This is something I thought we would never see in a lifetime. But again, like I said, before we took that little break, if the demon wins, if Sister Abigail loses, then what was the point of bringing Sister Abigail here in the first place? It's weird enough to have Brea Sister Abigail. It's intriguing. It's interesting. It's different. It's probably the best thing that's ever happened to Bray, to be honest. But if he loses, if she, if, if she loses, I guess, I don't know what we do here because uh, Sister Abigail is now the uh, in control of the, of the uh, vessel, if you will, of Bray Wyatt. So do we call her a her? Do we assume her gender? I don't know what we do at this point. But if Sister Abigail loses... I don't understand what the point of bringing her out was. So I feel like this article has to win. But again, I would not be surprised if Balor wins for the third time in a row and this feud is over. And finally, the the uh, TLC main event, The Shield versus Braun Strowman, The Miz, Kane, and The Bar in a five-on-three TLC match. Again, we do not know what the intercounter title on the line. It probably will not be, which will mean this match will, you will have to win by pinfall or submission unless they hang something. Excuse me. I don't know what they would hang, but they would have to hang something for the TLC match to, to be won in that fashion where you have to grab whatever item, whatever would be hanging. Otherwise, at this point, it'll be pinfall or submission. First pinfall or submission wins it. Now, this is interesting because Kane is now the fifth man for this match. And uh, I don't know what this means. I I love it. I don't know what it means. That for uh, What I mean by that, at least for uh, for those who have been in the know, Glenn Jacobs, the man known as Kane, has been running for the, for the mayorship of Knox County, Tennessee. Does this mean he lost the election? Does this mean this is just for him to be... Relevant? Will this be part of his campaign? I don't really know. We don't really know what this means. But for Braun Strowman to just defeat Roman Reigns the way he did, let alone see Kane come back. Kane, of course, came back during the Steel Cage match a couple of nights ago to where Kurt Angle laid down the law. If Strowman won this match, then Miz would pick his fifth man. We all wanted to be Curtis Axel. It wasn't. Uh, but if Strowman lost, then it would be a traditional three-on-three -three, uh, TLC match. I don't, I don't even want to say traditional, but, you know, Survivor Series is coming up, so we do have to get used to that with the traditional Survivor Series matches will potentially be made soon enough. But with that being, you know, it's interesting because Kane came back, we heard a a remix of his very first theme. It almost felt like bad blood all those years ago with the first Hell in a Cell match that Kane came out. Except this time, Kane did not destroy any steel doors. Kane did not... Well, he did tombstone people, but he did not... It was not the magnitude of Kane all those years ago. However, he did come from under the ring... Choke slammed Roman Reigns a couple times. Then Braun choke slammed him. Uh, choke slammed Roman, rather. Uh, Kane let him power slam Roman a couple times. And then the capital off the tombstone on Roman Reigns. And Kane was the fifth man for this match. This match is very hard to call because, on one hand, it's the Shield. It was dominant a couple years back. And of course, Roman Reigns being the quote-unquote big dog that he is now, one would assume that Roman wins LOL. However, this is five on three. A two-man advantage. And with two big men like Strowman and Kane, I will not be surprised that the Shield wins. However, I am going with the numbers game in Miz, The Bar, 
Strowman, and Kane. And quite frankly, with Strowman and Kane being the size they are, this is technically seven on two. If you count Kane and Strowman as two people each. So it's a lot to, of odds to overcome. Knowing Roman Reigns, he will probably do it. But TLC is this Sunday. And a lot more is happening. And we'll get to that very, very shortly. 